pull that off at the last second. So I will be flying from south to north across friendly lines here, which means man pads shouldn't be as much of an issue here. But nonetheless, I'm going to select program four, which gives me, uh, I think I get a total of 40 seconds of flare coverage if I start pumping out flares here. All right, parked at the Charlie Diamond at Osan here for a beautiful sunrise air interdiction, possibly some actual close air support with the JTAC. Uh, I'm in the 24-hour veteran gaming server here. They have a rolling fire campaign. This is day two. Uh, just as a single ship, just going to demonstrate how I get out to an area of operations, uh, acquire some targets efficiently, drop eight by GBU-12s, defend myself with a couple of sidewinders if necessary, and I'm not going to engage anything because I have no AMRAM, so I'm going to be too slow, too heavy to take on anything with an AMRAM today. So I'm going to use Open Kneeboard today. I've got a map up on the screen here. Uh, you can see I'm headed out north of my flot just slightly here. I'm going to be looking in this kill box I've got drawn, mostly looking for tanks. One thing I like to do is to head out to areas and soften up their low-level air defenses so that friendly helicopters, low-level uh, close air support can enter the area. So I'll take out fire cans, AAA, shilkas, grab a altimeter and wind check. Eric, one, one, Osan, Q, page 2976. 2 knots, 7, 6. 1, 1, Osan, 2, 0, 0, at 2 knots. Went from 2, 0, 0 at 2 knots. Copy that. Let's get aligning and we'll finish up the ramp start here. Okay, now that I'm finished with the basic ramp start checks, I'm going to set up my TGP. So I do this the same way every time. Air to ground mode, TGP, standby, air to ground mode. I'll select pointer twice on OSB 2. That's going to let me... Uh, send out a laser and an infrared sparkle using the trigger detent number one. I'll enter the control page, press menu. As soon as I get a powered up TGP here and not timed out goes away, I'll be able to set a frag radius and make sure my north uh, pointer and meter stick is active. This is critical. And uh, this will also let us see the latitude longitude for our sensor point of interest displayed top left corner of the TGP here having this NM selected. Go over the weapon page. I'm gonna set my eight GBU-12s to ripple one at a time. Let's get into the laser page. List zero for mode. Select five for laser, 1688 for TGP, 1688 for laser spot track. Mode select on training. Bring it into combat here for the air to ground laser. Something I did recently was upgrade my HOTAS, my Warthog uh, firmware and I got a fast SLU firmware update from Delta Sims, which allows my SLU to be much more uh, consistently updated to 50 Hertz. You get much smoother slewing. I believe this works not just for the Delta Sim hardware upgrade for the Warthog, but also for the basic uh, Warthog hardware. It's been, it's been amazing. So we checked the TGP, we checked the SMS page, we checked the laser code. Let's set a Joker of 3,500 pounds. Bingo will be 2,500. Number two for departure, taxi Charlie Fox Echo, hold short for 27 left, spade 11 one, taxi. Okay, that's a U2 taking off out of Osan here, cool. Rumble 5, 4 ship, F15s, request taxi. Okay, there's my target. Good morning. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little hack here. I want as much fuel as I can get here. It's a little bit before my takeoff time, so I'm gonna pop open my air refuel Ramp door. Spade 1, Osan Tower, position and hold, runway 27 left. I'm gonna request hot pit refuel which you can do, I think, right up until you enter the runway there. Take on a couple more hundred pounds. There it is, up to 9,300 pounds. Close the air refuel door. Position hold 27 left, spade one. Got a pretty heavy aircraft today here, so I'm going to be rotating at uh, 180 knots. And I'll do an afterburner departure. I'll pull the burner at 250 knots, go buster to 300 knots while I get my gear up. I'll climb five degrees nose up, and uh, I'll be turning right for steer two today. Stay one, Osan Tower, way two zero zero at two knots, runway two seven left. Two zero zero two knots. Takeoff. Looks a little strong, stronger than two knots there. Clear for takeoff on two seven left, speed one. Knots, 160, 70, and rotate. Get my gear 
runway 27 left. You're clear for takeoff. Five degrees comes up. Spade 11, contact departure. Switching departure, Spade 11. Close on departure, Spade 11, signals an F 16, airborne passing 1000, heading at 266. And what I'm going to do for this departure, I've got this heavy, draggy aircraft here with all these GBUs, is I'm going to climb out uh, no greater than 6 degrees angle of attack there. And save on gas. Spade 1-1, one, one, Dallas 1, picture is multiple groups, range and azimuth split. West group, bullseye, 0-1-0, 2-1-21,000, track east, hostile, 2-1, east, bullseye, 0-6-0, 61 16,000 track southwest. Hostel 0 track east. So we've got action out here. Hopefully the tar cap comes out and helps me out there. Uh, first thing we need to do is get into air to ground mode, fence in. I'm going to put master arm on and laser arm on right now. And I'm going to select my steer point that's out in the target area here, which is steer point four. Still on autopilot here. And you can see that's within 80 miles of myself right now. It's just out past the front line. And I need to look for what appears to be enemy units, columns, anything conspicuous. Uh, I'm going to start in GM ground mapping mode. I'm going to be looking for static targets. And I've already got something out here. I've used the pinky switch to move into DBS-1, I'll do it again, or you can hit OSB-3 to move into DBS-2. Okay, I thought I saw what looked like a column there, but it doesn't appear to be, so I'm going to bump back out with pinky switch to normal. Continue to climb through 14,000 here, set my altimeter to standard. And remember that I don't want to get too fixated on the target area here while there's still red air out there. Now the nice thing about zooming in a little bit is you can see both the FCR and the HSD at the same time. Those cursors are coupled. So there's my front line. And basically if I zoom in here on the FCR, I'm seeing the roads that are out here on the DMZ. These two parallel lines there. You can see the two parallel east-west roads on the DMZ. Let's declare these units with um, J stars or NAWACs right here. So all you have to do is put your cursor over them and press declare on the keyboard. J stars on frequency spade one declare mud 07160. So the bullseye. Spade one one Dallas one is friendly. So I've got friendlies here, and all we need to do now is bump the cursor out across the forward line of own troops to the north. Let's declare this cluster of probable units here. Chalice Spade 1 1, declare uh, MUD 06959. So friendlies have. They're right up to my flot there. Let's continue to bump this uh, out across the DMZ here. Okay, we've got a column. This is just a dead giveaway for a column of vehicles here, this line. So the first thing I'm going to do is declare Chalice Spade 1 1 declare MUD 06549. I'm going to get ready to make a mark point with number 7. Spade 1 1 Chalice 1, is friendly. To get to the FCR. Okay, we know we have friendlies uh, across what was my forward line of own troops, so that is a friendly column of vehicles. RBR looks uh, naked at this point. As soon as you get far enough into enemy territory, even if you just declare the ground, okay, here we have some, some columns out here. Chalice, uh, Spade 1 1, declare MUD 06051. Still ready to make a mark point here. I should get a bogey. Call Spade here. 1 1, Chalice 1, contact is a bogey. So bogey means enemy when you're talking to J Stars or AWACS. And so the first thing I need to do is make a mark point, but TMS up is going to generate mark point 26. Looks like I've got plenty of vehicles out here. This is probably my column of tanks. It is on the western side of my kill box. If I look at my uh, map here, I'm probably looking at tanks and infantry right out in the DMZ here. Pop into GMT real quick and see if there's any movers out this way. GMT has a maximum range of 40 miles. I'm still outside of that, so can't see anything yet. 
at least in BMS with the overpowered air-to-ground radar that we have, most of your work is going to be done between 60 and 40 miles on your way out. And as you get close, you're going to lose this picture on the fire control radar because the beam width on the ground is going to be so narrow as you're flying overhead. At that point, I'm going to be switching to TGP and I'm going to be moving the HSD to my left MFD and I'm going to be working between the HSD and the TGP. Let's grab a quick bogey, bogey dope. Shall spade 1-1, one, one, bogey dope. Spade 1-1, one, one, Dallas 1, nearest threat will drive 0, 6, 2, 7, 0, 8,000. Hold, hostile, print, make 29, single so zero, 6, 2, 70. Make 29 singleton. Sure enough, that's right in my target area, so hopefully my uh, 15s will come out and help me out here. But I can see that I've got F-16s out in front of me, facing me here. I'm not picking them up on radar, but, well, they're... Okay, so I do have a couple friendlies out in this area. Could be helicopters, could be low-level aircraft, I'm not sure. And here we are at uh, about 24, 25,000 feet. I'm going to level off, throw it into autopilot, back to air-to-ground mode. I'm going to finish setting up my TGP here real quick. TGP Soy. I'm in the control page, in the menu page. TMS up to go from frag off to frag on. Again, frag on. Radius is good. TMS right will cycle through the menu. TMS right, TMS up, back to main menu. TMS right, TMS up, back to exit. And control to get back. Now I've got my latitude longitude. I can already see some units out here on the ground. I can see that my laser is in combat. Everything's ready here. One six. This is my weapon queue here, ready to release. Laser code one six eight eight. Double check that real quick. Six eight eight. Alrighty. Now, what we can see on the TGP picture here is we have a huge column of enemy vehicles, and I believe actually we have two huge columns of enemy vehicles. I believe I can already see some air defense units here. step into TV mode real quick. Okay, so these are uh, artillery. A bunch of trucks. This would be a great great time to ripple six cluster bombs off if I had them, but I don't. Okay, not air defense units. Let's take a look at this other column out here. Okay, this is all a whole bunch of artillery. Chalice 1, Spade 1, with bogey dope. Spade 1, 1, Dallas 1, nearest threat will drop 0, 4, 5, 3, 6, 6,000. Hot, outlaw, print, J5, 2 ships. 36, J5. Chalice Spade 1, 1, picture. Spade 1, 1, Dallas 1, picture is multiple groups. Range split. Lead group will drop 0, 4, 5, 3, 7, 6,000. Hot, hostile. Center group will die 0, 3, 0, 3, 6, 9, 000, track, zero, three zero, east, hostile, east, hostile. Trail group will die 0, 0, 5, 5, 6, Scope 21, 000, track, Here's the DMZ. Okay, so let's cursor 0. Let's select our mark point of 26. 15s are behind us on the yard there. there. And... It's time to do some work here. Let's hit this. Oh, they're on the move here. Let's let's hit these guys here. These artilleries. Oops. There's a problem with uh, point track. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. All right, we are about a minute out from the loft queue here. We've got some strong winds at altitude here. 54 knots from 291. So I'm going to go drift compensate center of the bomb fall line and we're going to hit these movers right here i'll go point track for now they are on the move south here okay time to get rid of the fire control radar you can see as the beam narrows here it's pretty much useless up close when you're within about 15 miles of the target as i will be here here comes the loft queue and you could always do one more mud declare just to be safe a chalice declared mod 06151. If you're not sure of the enemy unit you have selected, one drop one it in nine seconds. There's the contact as a bogey. And drop in three seconds. Pickle. 
ready has gone to release. There's one away. And I've got 34 seconds to impact here. I'm going to laze right away with trigger detent one. And I'm going to orbit this guy. So the thing I do is I... Hopefully that was a bandit there. I'm going to uh, orbit this guy. So always check left. And then begin to check right. And orbit your... Uh, orbit your target here. This will keep your TGP looking right at him the whole time. 16 seconds to impact, 14 seconds to impact. Still lazing, I'm climbing because I'm plenty fast and I have the uh, speed to continue to climb and stay high and sip fuel, seven seconds to impact. Now I'm gonna try and move this to the center of mass here of these vehicles. Boom. That was probably six kills right there. And I've got a 29 at uh, two o'clock here. So let's do a quick bogey dope here. Chalice, uh, spade one more bogey dope. Back, back to that air one, one, Chalice, one, near threat, off two, five, zero, one, one, twelve thousand. Hot, hostile, great, five, zero, one, two, one, zero. So the J5s are the closest to me. Chalice, spade one, one, picture. I've got two thirties at my five o'clock there. Spade one, one, Chalice, one, picture is multiple groups. Range and hands with split. Southwest group, Bob 2, 6, 0, 1, 1, 12,000, hot, 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 h